Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create this new table based on the two different tables. So idea over here though the use case over here is that we have the table one which has the equipment and the failure and the second table is equipment and the shift in which shift I mean total number of shift that it is having. So we want to know the average failure per shift which is 3.33 in this case right. So that is something what we want to produce by producing a new table altogether. And just a quick information before I go ahead is that uh, I keep all of my Power BI videos in a easy to search sheet, which is a Google sheet over here. Link is present in description. That way you can search all of my previously posted video title that I have done it in last three or four years, 300 plus videos that you can find it over here. And then you can search it, jump onto that video using the link that is present over here. That way, you know, you don't have to scroll through this multiple basically videos uh, on YouTube, which is not very easy and, and good user friendly, uh, you know, from the perspective of searching and, and this sheet, you can even bookmark it, right? So that you can reference it whenever you need it. Okay. So with that thing, uh, or with that uh, information, let me go into the table. First of all, this is the table, right? As you can see, this is combined based on the equipment. So that is the first thing uh, you need to make sure that uh, if you are following the scenario, then these are combined. And then what I can do is we need to, we have this table one, table two, this one I already created. So I'm showing you again from the scratch, how you can create this. So we will call it 7.1. 7.1 because that's the same thing new table and uh, in this new table we will going to use something called a summarize function which helps us create the new table so that will be table number this right that that's our first table and uh, in this what we need is the equipment right comma called enter and now we will give the name of the column, which is total failures. That's what we need as per our requirement, sum of failures, right? From these two tables, only the specific column. And then average failure per shift, yeah? And we will use the function called as divide. In this case, we will say sum of failures, comma, sum of shifts. It will bring it because it is basically connected in the back end. We'll close the summarize and I'll press enter. Okay. As soon as I press enter, you will see that my new table is now present for all the equipments with the required column total failure. And we don't need to bring in the shift because that's what, uh, let's say, not our requirement. That's why I'm only bringing total failure, which is a number and the average failure by simply taking the denominator as the shifts. OK, now I can come over here and I can produce a table like this right? very easily simply by choosing it from here, this particular table and bring all the three values, which now same way present over here as well right so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i will now meet uh, I'll, I'll now meet you in a new video with a new topic